get what you missed on Pearl Overdrive. It's time for a reflective minute here at Pearl Overdrive. And once we're done, like we normally do, just one of us call in on 0701969969 and share with us the words of the grace. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in time of need or in trouble. Okay. Now, and I may not answer the question I had asked us today concerning pleasure. Is it okay to pursue pleasure? But hopefully you will hear something here about that a bit but i'm not going to it's not going to uh you know um, form and say uh, the gist of what we talk about today now if god wants us to be healthy and i want you to think about that and jesus body was broken for us why are there christians who are sick right i personally know believers who are battling severe illnesses and i'm sure you do as well you or your loved one might even be facing a health challenge right now. I do know that uh, one of my close friends, they lost their mother last week through COVID-19, the Delta variant in Kisumu. And still coming to terms to that because their father is now also in the ICU. So losing a mother, coming to terms with that, at the same time having a father who's in the ICU. I mean, I mean, you end up asking a lot of questions, not only to yourself, but also just directing them to God, right? I know it can be hard to keep trusting God when you are going through a fiery trial. But you see, we are reminded to keep trusting Him. He is right now your very present help in time of need, this time that you are in need. It also reminds me of another song. Um, I forget by who. It's not Shannon Vexelberg. It's an old song. I fix my eyes on you. Right? And I'm, it's just come to my mind and I'm going to look for it and listen to it. <laughs> now, keep fixing your eyes on uh, the Lord and also on the Messiah. Why? Because he's faithful. See, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Right? That's what he says. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I say, just cast your burdens on me. That's what the Lord says. He is faithful. That will never change. Even when we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. Deuteronomy chapter 3, 31, I mean. Deuteronomy 31 and verse 6 is a reminder. And you can just go right ahead and uh, look for that. Now, allow me to share the story of three the three hebrew boys i love them where this story of uh you know this verse is concerned that god is our refuge and strength and ever present help in time of need daniel chapter 3 records the story of three friends shadrach meshach and abednego who were bound and thrown into we know their story into a fiery furnace that had been amped up seven times because they refused to bow down to the golden image of nebuchadnezzar right the furnace was so hot that the men who threw them in <laughs> died. <laughs> they were killed by the heat. That's how hot the king wanted it. But the king saw the three friends walking in the midst now going uh, very fast. He saw them walking in the midst. They were bound, thrown in bound. But now he saw them walking in the fire. And he saw a fourth man with them who was, as recorded in Daniel chapter 3 verse 25, and why does the fourth man appear like the son of God? Other, other versions say, why does the fourth man appear like the son of a God? Right? Amazed, the king called him out. Imagine, he's still shocked. He's looking at the fourth. Then he, what did we know three, throw three? Then he calls out, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <laughs> and he and all his officials so that the fire had had no power over them they were not burnt in any way not their clothes nothing not a single hair on them was singed right their clothes were not scorched or damaged and there was not even the smell of smoke on them why allow me to attempt an answer the why is because the lord was with them protecting and delivering them 
As a result, the king acknowledged that there was no other god who could deliver like their god. And the three friends were not only released, they were also promoted. Now, it's very interesting, the story of Nebuchadnezzar, because in chapter 2, Daniel interpreted a dream, and he said in verse 44, going downwards of chapter 2, that the, that the king, the, 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 the God of Daniel is the only true God. And then now, chapter 2 starts with him saying that, hey, making a decree that we are going to build, set up an image in my own likeness, and everyone must worship it when the sound of music plays. Ooh. But eventually, he did. He acknowledged Again, that the God of Israel, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and Daniel was the one true God. I don't know what you may be going through, but one thing is for certain. He never leave you nor forsake you. He sticks closer than a brother. And that's a promise. And he's a promise-keeping God. Yeah? Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you today this evening and even for the entire week you've been with us from monday to now friday on the cusp of the weekend how i pray lord that uh, many of us may have uh, you know things we have set up for tomorrow but none of us knows about tomorrow but we just hope <laughs> and pray that we will get to tomorrow and so when that does happen may all our plans may our plans May we lay them at your feet and let go and just let you. And may we never be disappointed when things don't work out the way we want them to because you're the one who orders our steps. And so if we, they don't work our way, your way is the only way. And I pray that you surround us with your love and your mercy, even for this weekend. Remember our children who are traveling from school, left, right and center, up the length and breadth of this country. That, Father, may you keep them safe on the roads and keep them safe for this one week, their home as well. Um, keep them away from any form of truancy or just guard their hearts. That may they, for those like some of them are going into where the Delta variant is really prevalent. The Lord, I pray that you protect them even as they go amidst the chaos of the COVID variant virus. And when they will go back, that they may, may you protect them and may they not carry back anything to school. But above all things, we eternal praise, glory, and honor to you. Parents who are looking for school fees, trusting and believing in you for school fees because of the start of the new year in July 26th, be with them. For the young people who are trusting you for spouses or life partners or for things, Lord, may we come and have faith and trust in you. So keep us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Join Justo on Peril Overdrive. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m.